Luke Clevenger here, Tulsa Raceway Park. It's the Ronnie Hobbs World Finals here at the Throwdown in T-Town. Our fall throwdown is always a classic, and this year it's more so. The World Finals right here at the legendary Tulsa Raceway Park. The class is still up for a championship. Pro Mod top dragster down to less than a round. It's going to be edge of your seat all weekend. Every run counts here at the fall. Throwdown in T-Town. It's the Ronnie Hobbs World Finals at the Midwest Drag Racing Series. Luke Levin, you're here. Midwest Drag Racing Series. And with Frankie Radicky. Frankie, you're here at the Throwdown in T-Town. You got two more passes on this Pro Mod, and then you're licensed. That is correct. There are two more eighth-mile passes. Uh, in St. Louis, as you guys know, we made our mm -hmm. moderate passes. Yep. Uh, then we tried to make our, a couple weeks later in St. Louis, tried to make the eight-mile pass, but the track wouldn't hold it. So Larry Jeffers and Ed Briggs from Larry Jeffers Race Cars said, uh, uh, we got to get him to Tulsa. We yep. got to get him here to get his license passes before the end of the year. So uh, we made the trip down here. We we're going to make two eight-mile passes and then a little seat time. You know, get a couple more <laughs> yeah. passes, just get comfortable with the car. Uh, Keith had actually told us if we wanted to race and we made our license passes, we could qualify and race. I think we're going to sit out the race. A, I'm not really ready for it yet. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I want to be 100% comfortable in there. B, these guys are running for a championship. Yeah. Let's let them, let's let them settle it on the there. Let's don't go up there and give them a round. So let's sit back and let them decide the championship, and, and let's get our license passes and have a good offseason get ready for next year. Absolutely. It's not like our pro mods are uh, wrapped up by any means right now. Let's sit around, separate Mickey and Keith Haney. And so you're going to run this full-time next year then, yeah, with us? Awesome. It, it looks like we're going to be running Midwest Pro Mod Series. Fantastic. We was going to do some NMCA racing. That was our with our bracket car, which we ran the bracket car at Flying H. We came yep. down there just to support the Pro Mod Series with the bracket. Mm -hmm. We came down there for that. So well, we was gonna, we've been with NMCA since 99. We was going to run some races with them and some with Midwest, but it's looking like as everybody knows what happened at NMC, mm -hmm. it looks like there's going to be a lot of people making full jumps into bid but yeah. pro mod racing. So it should be a lot, a lot more interesting. Absolutely. You know, and while our hearts go out to all of the NMCA, the NMRA guys, and uh, we definitely don't prefer uh, that it be uh, what happened to it happened to it. We are uh, welcoming. Exactly. And, you know, we, we offer a home for those who, uh, who those who want it. And, uh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. We're a great family here. Why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, this car? And, you know, I called you for a few years in St. Louis at Gateway when I was announcing uh, full time there. And what made you make the jump to Pro Mod and why this Pro Mod? Well, first off, like both kids, they're all look at the top field drivers or look at the funny cars. Mm -hmm. I was Pro Mod, Pro Mod, Pro Mod. Oh, yeah. I've been a Pro Mod guy. And then Larry being a friend of mine, going and watching his cars and watching him. And just, you know, added fuel to the fire. I've just pro my pro my pro my That's all I ever wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I got my house and paid off. My business paid off. I told my buddies, I'm, I'm going to do this. If I'm going to do it, I have to do it now or it's not going to get done. I mean, life's just, just going by. So yeah. I got my priorities straight. I said, now, now is some me time. I'm going to do this. Larry had talked to me about putting me in his brand bus, about me driving that. Yeah. And uh, that was an option. He knew how bad I wanted this. He, he knew how bad I wanted oh, it. Oh, yeah. So we had talked about that. Well, this was Keith Haney's original car. Yeah. Yes, this was his original car. Midwest Drag Racing Series. History <laughs> right here. So uh, this guy, Larry was building a new car for a driver that got the car from Keith. Um, and it was out at his shop. He wanted to trade it in on a new build. So Larry called me and said, Dude, you better get out here. I, I need you to see something. And I kind of figured what it was, or I thought maybe he had the bus. I don't know. <laughs> and then I walked in, and I seen the car there, and I knew what it was. And he goes, this is my old car. We can update this. We can get it ready to go and be competitive and, and go out there and jump right in. I said, let's talk some numbers. Let's. We did. We made it happen right there on the spot. Oh, that's amazing. You know, it, not every day that a car – used car this kind of history but also like this kind of uh, winning uh tradition we'll say comes along and jeffers just goes i mean i know a guy yeah I exactly <laughs> and, and, and that's how it happened too uh uh with the motor uh brad from wild motorsports todd you know tutter and todd yep. tutter this this is theirs this is their engine the the blower i got from jay cox mm -hmm. and the transmission i mean I did not know the Pro Mod guys were like the bracket racers because bracket racers alone you their carburetor to beat them in the finals. Yeah. Pro Mod guys 
these guys that I are my heroes, Todd is somebody that I admire. I mean, yeah. just, he's a, he's an idol of mine. I right. can't even believe I get to talk to a guy like that. And he's out here helping with this car and giving advice. I mean, I'm blessed. I'm, I'm blessed to have the best in the business. I was so comfortable getting in the car after the first pass. I goofed up the first pass. I dropped the ball. It, it, it happened, but it's like a baseball pitcher that blows a relief. You you put it behind you, you're done, you move on, and and, and they're just like pat, patting me on the back. It's like, we'll, we'll get to, you'll get this. You'll, you'll be all right. And yeah. we're, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Well, nobody comes into a race in a pro mod and drops a 3-6 their first pass. From a bracket car. car. Yeah, no. From, from, from a bracket car. car. <laughs> All right, well, we end up picking up here at Tulsa Raceway Park. We got the yeah, we need a front clip to race, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I will let uh, your crew uh, reposition that. But, uh, Frankie, thank you for th- for uh, coming out. Can't wait to see you on the track. And uh, are you doing the testing today? Or I'm going to do testing today and tomorrow, I think. Just get some seat time. Just Absolutely, you know, Make some passes and, you know, try to have a good time. Relax. It's the end of the into the race season, go into the off season with a good, comfortable feeling. And I want to thank you guys from Midwest for, I mean, just welcoming me with open arms. You guys are always high-fiving. I mean, we're just – we're glad to be here. We're blessed. I mean, everybody, I, I can't, I'm, I'm, I'm too stupid to do this by myself. That's as simple as it gets. And everybody has just, I mean, welcomed me with open arms. Ellen, you know, I call her or send her a message, and she answers back in the most polite way possible. I mean, Keith is – Picking, going. He he told me a flying age. Go home and get your car. You don't live that far. Go get it. 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 These guys rock, man. I mean, thanks, guys. I appreciate everything. Luke Levenger here, Midwest Drag Racing Series, alongside world famous Pro Mod Racer, semifinals runner up, Slammers Slammers winner, winner, (laughs) Pro Mod winner. (laughs) Just saying. Tita, how are you doing? I'm I'm doing great coming off my Pro Mod win. Yeah. So it's doing fantastic. Yeah, you, you know, half the field doesn't have a pro mod win, so there you go, right? I know. You're, see? Hey, it is what it is. Yeah, right? I got one. I was happy. It was good. It feels good. So are you are you going to enter the enter the Nova into pro mod here at the throwdown? I was going to, yes. But they have a 470 class, and that's right up my alley with oh, the Nova. Oh, God, So gotcha. I think I'm going to go with the 470 class this time. But, yes, the plan was to come enter pro mod. <laughs> This weekend. <laughs> awesome. So you got a 470, and yes. uh, I assume you're running top, top sportsman. Yes. So this uh, this pickup truck has uh, been a little bit of a, of a headache to start the year. I think yes. you found something out in uh, right before Lufkin, didn't you? Yes. Uh, in Michigan, we had some issues mm-hmm. um, that we found. That was kind of, once again, our fault. <laughs> but um, anyway, the... We had some issue with some timing issue and stuff, mm-hmm. and so it wasn't. We did all that testing, probably 15 passes, and uh, none of that was any good because when we got home, we found the issue, fixed it, and came back to Lufkin, and it worked. Hey! <laughs> we just didn't go as fast as we wanted to, but everything seemed to work really good. So I think we're on the right path at this point. We we're on the right path, and what yes. better place to be on the right path I than know. the throwdown? At a great track. Uh huh. We always do really well here, and I'm never worried about the track because it's always so good. And so I'm really excited to make some good passes mm. and hopefully finish out the season better than I did the last one. On a strong note, right? <laughs> yes. Talk, talk a bit, like, how awesome is it to end the season here, not just on a track that's always amazing, but also in front of the fans that are here, too? Oh, my gosh. There's always a ton of people here. Mm-hmm. It is so neat to be in the staging lanes and seeing all these people. The stands are filled on both sides, and it's crazy because there's so many people out walking around, too. And so when you get up there, you really don't see that because you're work concentrating, but when you're back behind it, you can see it all, and it's just amazing how many people show up to this thing. It really is. The Throwdown in T-Town admission is free. You just pay to park. Come out. Yep. It's the Osage Casino Hotel, Tulsa Raceway Park. Ronnie Hobbs, World Finals. We'll see you there. Luke Levin, you're here, Midwest Drag Racing Series presented by Summit Racing Equipment and JNA Service. I'm here with David Pierce. David, Howdy. it's the Ronnie Hobbs World Finals here at the Throwdown in T Town at the world famous Tulsa Raceway Park. And let's talk a little bit about what's up for grabs. This is uh, the Ronnie Hobbs World Finals Championship Trophy. Yes, it is. We, uh, Kenzie and I, were proud to make this for mm-hmm. this event. And someone's going to take home this awesome thing with some cash in the top yeah. and the prize money 
I'm not sure what they're paying this year. Uh, you know, of the prize money, we'll uh, we'll have that uh, at the event. But uh, tell us a little bit about the trophy. I'm sure these are absolutely real dollar bills that you <laughs> had to fight the urge to not throw all over the place. Well, that's that's some fake money. So <laughs> that we just wanted something to leave in the trophy so someone will have in their office or their shop. And yeah. Represent what they want and yeah. you know have an awesome display of what they did it is awesome and uh, of course this uh trophy in honor of the texas rattlesnake and ronnie hobbs tell us a little bit about what all went into making this trophy and kind of what's on it well we want to thank aaron wells for donating the parts for mm -hmm. this and we just kenzie and i come up with these designs and we've made quite a few trophies over the years and we were really like i said we're really happy to do this we yeah. we just come up with stuff we start putting stuff together and hold things up see how it looks and wanted to do something a little different than our normal so we had the powder coating done and uh, I think it looks great so. it look it looks tremendous uh, now you said in the future uh, when more of these beautiful trophies get made uh, if you're watching this and you're one of our pro mod racers uh, you're more than welcome to donate parts there we would we would love to have more people yeah. donate so we can it make would a trophy. be yeah, like one part from every person, and that you can would just be awesome. pull that into a, an amazing trophy. Tell us a little bit about, about this guy here. I'm almost afraid to touch him. So <laughs> you can buy these online. There's This is uh, almost exactly like the one from last year that we made. Uh -huh. It's a little bit different. The snake is in a different pose. Yeah. But it's just a rattlesnake, you know, to represent the Texas rattlesnake. Yeah. So needed to have that in there. Absolutely, and you did not catch that live at the Sand Trap in uh, one of our tracks. I did not. Okay, all right. Well, I did not. Still a braver soul than I. <laughs> How long did this thing take you to make? A uh, couple weeks. Couple it weeks. wasn't, you know, just working on it a little bit at a time, just making sure it was going together like we had mm -hmm. designed it. So just take some time. Absolutely, and it's it's absolutely gorgeous. Thank Don't you, you uh, wish that you could take that home yourself to I do. display on the? I do. I do. It would just be faster. We could enter in pro mod again, <laughs> but uh, probably the crew chief is on me. <laughs> it's the Summit Race Equipment Midwest Drag Racing Series. Stay tuned. The Throwdown in T Town is coming up. See who wins the Ronnie Hobbs Memorial Trophy right here. The Summit Race Equipment Midwest Drag Racing Series. Luke Clevenge here, Scott Blake making his first Midwest Drag Racing Series appearance. Scott, uh, you come all the way down here for the throwdown in T-Town. Are you excited? Oh, yeah, I can't wait. Can't <laughs> wait. Nice weather, too. Oh, it's gorgeous weather. Now, this is not a uh, short drive for you, I understand. Can you tell the people where you uh, where you started this journey? Well, we started in uh, Red Deal, Alberta, Canada, which is like uh, 4,000 kilometers north. Oh. Uh, we headed to... Uh, <laughs> Kelowna, British Columbia, loaded the car up, and uh, we started our trek on uh, about 10.30 on Monday morning. <laughs> and we got here um, yesterday around uh, noon. Okay, so that it, I was told it's like a 40-ish hour drive? Yeah, it was 40 hours. <laughs> so what what make, what make leads you to drive all this distance for the throwdown in T-Town? You had to be like, this is the event, right? Well, we don't get a lot of uh, opportunities in Canada to race into October because uh -huh. our weather's a little chilly. Oh, yeah. And we made, about three weeks ago, we had a good outing in Mission, British Columbia, and I didn't want the season to end. So uh, a good a good track is Tulsa. We've been here before when PDRA was here back, and I think it was around 2016, 2017. Yeah. So, yeah, so we wanted to make it here. and see how fast we can go in uh, Tulsa. Absolutely, and I mean, the weather could not be much more perfect for you guys here. Talk about just perfect racing weather. The track's nice and sticky. Tell us a little bit about your car over here. Uh, this is a 1969 Camaro mm -hmm. built by uh, Robert Hayes in Mooresville. Okay. It's got uh, an Albert 959 in it, mm -hmm. a nitrous car. Uh, started uh, running it last year a bit. And, and I think we've been to four or five events this year. We went 74 at the last race. We want to see if we can get in the 60s here in Tulsa. There you go. You know, the nitrous uh, combo here at the Midwest Drag Racing Series is competitive. So I got to imagine you're looking and you're going, all right, we could be right in the mix with the blowers, you know, and all, everyone. Yeah, I don't know if we can keep up to Keith Haney, but yeah, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll try and run. Hopefully we... Hopefully we uh, are able to, we, we don't normally run on really tight racetracks, mm -hmm. so it's going to be a bit of a challenge here for us to get off the starting line, but hopefully we can figure it out. Absolutely. So best of luck and thanks for coming on out to the Throwdown in T-Town. It's the Summit Racing Equipment Midwest Drag Racing Series. 
Luke Clevenger here alongside Dave Pierce and James Ogden sitting here in James Ogden's pits and Pro 420 right here at the Ronnie Hobbs World Finals throwdown in T-Town. Dave, you got to be uh, excited for the uh, the grand finale, so to speak, right? Yeah, I think this is going to be really good. The air is going to be really good, mm -hmm. so we're going to have to watch uh, what we do or we'll go too fast. James here, of course, is in second place. I'm in first, but there's only, I believe, what, three rounds? Three rounds. Three, three rounds. Three rounds three different. Rounds so, Ooh. and I know we're going to have uh, enough cars to have at least three rounds of racing. So, if I go out in the first one and he wins the race, uh, you know, it could turn out differently. But that's not my plan at all. <laughs> well, it's not my plan either. My plan is making him last year's champion, not this year's. There you go. So, my plan is to make me this year's, but. Things don't go as planned sometimes. <laughs> no, no. You know, you've been uh, fighting. You were fa too fast a couple times in testing at our last race in Lufkin. This uh, air is just phenomenal. you got to take yeah. a bit out of the car, don't you? Yeah, my daughter's coming. She'll fl she's flying in. She'll be here tomorrow. She's the one that tunes the car. So she, uh, after a few hits in uh, Pine Valley, she had it pretty much on the number. Oh, yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll slow it down one way or the other. Dave, uh, this weather going to... Pick up your speed. You turning your car down again, or yeah, it picks everybody up. When you when you go from air like we've been running in uh, to air like it's going to be here this weekend, everybody's going to pick up several numbers. So I'm going to have to slow mine down. Yeah. James has got the advantage there. His daughter's going to be here tuning. My tuner, of course, is my son Jeff, and he's on the East Coast at the PDRA race. <laughs> so you know, I'm going to be winging it a little bit, but. Uh, I don't think this guy's got enough for me. I don't. Think. Oh, so we'll see. <laughs> those are strong words. We'll see if they settle it on the track. It's Pro 420. It's the Ronnie Hobbs World Finals, the Throwdown in T Town, some racing equipment, Midwest Drag Racing Series.